When I started my weight loss journey in 2008, I was told that I had type 2 diabetes and I felt very ashamed and watched my grandmother suffer who also had diabetes and asthma and I made a vow to myself then that I would try to do better while I get back in shape. Now, if you guys don't believe me, these are a size 18 jeans and now I am rocking a comfortable snug yet loose 16 in 2015. You can do it. I did it. Hello guys, it's your girl Lily. Today is March the 1st of 2015 and it's snowing again. So I just wanted to give you guys a visual of how I'm looking like now. Now I just got finished doing one of my daily burn workouts which was cardio scope and it was for about a half an hour. So I know it's been a while since you guys seen a full body shot of me because I've been working off my phone and I was not doing all that extra stuff. But as soon as I made a promise to y'all that I was going to show you guys my results. Now, this is what I look like so far. There's no, no padding, no nothing. All I have under there, as you see, is a sports bra. This is what I'm looking like. So... You know, this is, I just wanted to show you guys a brief mod of what I'm looking like. My goal is for this year is to lose around 50 pounds. Now, I'm currently 231, and when I started my weight loss journey, I was 20 shy of 300, and that was about three years ago. So, I know it's a slow progress, but it's always better to have a goal than none at all. Now, last week, last month of February, I could have worked more out, although, you know, I did get times, I did get lazy of scheduling and what have you and all these banging shows out, but I did make an effort to attempt to try to put a workout in. Now, as you can see on my wrist, I am wearing a Fitbit Flex that I purchased uh, less than a month ago. So far, I've liked it. I recently, yesterday... Um, they have a choice of you could try the premium free for seven days after that is fifty dollars so far I'm trying not to see how much I like it um, to probably buy it on to the future currently I am still using lose it which I started when I used my weight loss journey from back over three years ago and I, that is being synced with this little bad boy right here. Now, um, I kind of get a little visual of how I'm moving since what on Lose It, I can just do it by what I put in. Now I have accountability of my lazy ass. So, it is a new month. Fortunately, I'm looking out the window right now and it's still snowing. So, I'm gonna try to do my best to make sure I work out more. Now, I know I'm saying that more, but I have to give myself a goal so I know where to push. Now, I know I moved more in in uh, January than I did in February, but each, each try to make a goal each time to make sure that you are getting closer to your goal. I know it's hard. I know uh, we got work, we have school, we have kids, other obligations, but I made sure that I'm doing what I need to do. I'm gonna lift up my tummy, and I still got this much to go. Now, when I was when I started, my belly was out to here, so I'm getting somewhere, you know. And you always can't focus on that scale because that scale could mean that you know you're doing good, you're doing great, you're not doing good at all. But the scale is not always a good way to track your progress. Now, I do use other tools other than the scale to make sure that I'm on the right track. I've been using a tape measure. It's very inexpensive. It's under $5. You can find it at your Kmart, Walmart, or what have you. Lose a couple inches here and there. Okay. I also use my clothes or what have you to, to see where I'm going. I also have more strength. I also can wake up 
without a problem. I know back in the day, I used to wake up and play with the alarm clock a lot. I'm not doing that so much anymore. I doing a lot better than I was when I started my journey because I used to go up a flight of steps and I would be so tired and so sweaty you thought I would have ran around the block three times without stopping so I'm getting good and also I am a role model to my youngest which she has also been trying to become more active and drink more water and try to be like mommy so if the scale is not telling you everything, look at the environment around you because people will notice, you know, that you're losing, you're losing weight, you're more confident, you're eating better, and don't notice, some might be able to follow in your footsteps, others will be like, whatever, you know, we're all not blessed, you know, to have a body, you know, that has a flat stomach, we can eat whatever we want or what have you. Like I said, it's always up to you. I'm doing my best to show you guys that I am doing what I can. Now, um, I'm not going to jump on the scale just yet. I'm going to wait until I get a solid amount of exercise days and what have you so that I know that when I get on the scale, I'm not disappointing myself. Now, I know that the weight fluctuates um, between two to three pounds uh, every day and that I must say that the by recording what I'm doing, I am able to figure out how I'm feeling, you know, what have you, of how I'm feeling of what I ate, you know, how my, you know, how my mood is or what have you. So it's all up to you. Don't worry about what everybody else has to say because at the end of the day, it is your body, it is your life, and it is your health. So you have to get off your ass. You have to make sure that you take account of your actions. If you're lazy, stop being lazy. Now, I know I'm getting a little better with my goals personally, so I can do better without the mom. Um, try to stay away from a lot of fast foods, which I know is so hard doing to my work schedule. And of course, I do work at McDonald's, so it's not like I'm not going to see fast food every day. But I'm drinking a lot more water. And this is now recording my sleep so I can figure out, you know, how to do my recordings, you know, of what I can watch later, what I can game later, when I can go to sleep, you know, stuff to do so that I know that I can be productive for the next day. And as like I said, I will do my best to keep up with you guys for my weight loss journey. So far, you know, I also go by... Before I wrap this up, I also go by my pictures. And pictures tell a lot. And as we know that sometimes with videos that uh, it can add 10 pounds or what have you, I feel great. I look back at pictures from 2008 and I'm like, wow, I've lost a ton of weight. For the simple fact that back in 2008, 2008 I'm sorry, I was rocking a size 18. That's 18. That's not 18 stretch. You know, that's 18s. And also, if I am a clothing that you know that will not lie about where your waist is going, it's jeans. And not the stretch jeans, you know, with the, you know, with the spandex or whatever. Real jeans that don't have that. It tells the story a lot. So now that I'm comfortably in a nice little loose snug 16 it proves that i am doing something right you know i don't take diet pills you know um i don't starve myself or what have you and of course i'm going to work and work in a you know a world that, you know that's going to last because i'm a big girl and you know these little skinny bitches want to sit there you know with their half cut shirts and what have you but you know what i'm proud of myself and i am set an example especially for my little one over there who is now starting to work out and she's excited to tell me stuff that she does when she's in school at the gym and she's also has been trying daily burn for the moves the, the move series as well so i must say that i am setting an example and she is listening to me because if you don't take care of yourself unfortunately you're going to land in the hospital and i know the hospital is not the most glamorous place in the world you know with a bunch of IVs in you and doctors telling you what you can do and what you cannot do so my advice to you is to start now if you haven't started you made a resolution back in January and you have slipped off then slip back on into the process of making yourself feel better about 
losing weight. There is always a ton of losing weight. You don't always have to go to the gym. You can, there's a ton of video games out there that is aimed so you can get your ass off the couch like Just Dance, We Sports, We Fit, you know, Fit Coach, all these things that you could be doing to get off your body. And they're fun. Uh, mine of choice is Zumba. Um, and sometimes I do Just Dance with my little one when I can't always run to do, you know, Daily Burn because Daily Burn is not always for kids. There are stuff that is more focused on adults since kids are still growing, still fragile, and they cannot use some of the equipment that we adults have used. So it is not an excuse to not go and lose weight. It's no excuse. And you don't have to sit there, you know, and, and do hours and hours of exercise. Top 30 minutes. I know you have 30 minutes. 30 minutes is a sitcom on TV, you know, with commercial breaks. You have time. A lot of a lot of excuses for not losing weight is I don't have the time. I know some people work 8, 10, 9, 11, 12 hour shifts. Make 30 minutes for yourself. Sometimes I have to force her out the room so that I can have 30 minutes to an hour to myself. You know, after dealing with customers, the weather, you know, bills or what have you, you have to have a time to focus on yourself so you can end reach your goal. You cannot blame everybody. You can't blame your kids. You can't blame everybody else because at the end of the day, you are the one getting up and going through your day. So to wrap this up, like I said, February, so, so, so month for me. So... It's not like I'm not doing anything at all. I'd rather be doing something than nothing. And that is also a good thing. Always do something because doing nothing, you're going to regret not doing something. So, like I said, this is the month of March. Brand new month. Shucky outside. And I know a lot of you are going to be staying indoors. Make, make time for yourself. I don't have a lot of space. Between where I'm standing with you, the TV's right there. All the space you need. Workout. Jumping jacks, push-ups, what have you, yoga. Pick pick your poison. If you can't afford Daily Burn or a gym membership or any of the other DVDs, go on YouTube. Ton of videos out there that are are there for you to try. And like I said, play video game. I know video games are more focused on sitting on the couch and doing this, but you can get up, move, what have you. Go ahead, pick your poison. Anyway, like I said, kept my promise. I am making sure that I make videos for you guys to not only my ups, my downfalls, because we all are going to have our best days. So, like I said, each day, make sure that you sit back, reflect on what you could have done better, and fix it. Every day is not going to be a strong day. But each day that you're making towards your weight loss journey is a good start. This is your girl Lini, and I'm out. Na, na, na,